What's up, y'all? You're watching Union Minded. I'm your host, Eric, and today just want to bring up some notes. We're going to talk about what's going on tomorrow. Tomorrow is the general membership meeting for Local Union 26. If you are an IBEW Local 26 member whose dues receipt is paid and is up to date, I encourage you to come out to the union meeting. The union meeting is where you get the information on how your union is doing, what jobs are coming up, how many people are on the out of work list. Yeah, you, we give out service pins. The union meeting is where the business of the meet, of the union is conducted. It's also a place where, under the good of the union, I, um, different conversations can be had, different um, points of view can be shared. Um, it's also a place where, under new business, members can put forward motions to try to enact ideas that maybe they have, and if they can get the body to agree with them, then we can come up with ways to move forward in a better and more representative way. So the union meeting is very important and it's happening tomorrow night. So if you're in Local 26, come out to one of the satellite offices. The meeting starts at 7 p.m. Also tomorrow we have the EWMC meeting and that is at the Lanham Hall and at the Manassas Hall at 5 p.m. And this is a um, coalition that represents the underrepresented. This is where the in my in, in in my experience this is the heart and soul of uh, unionism and the idea of what unions are supposed to be about um, this is an organization that does outreach work in the community this is an organization that teaches um, leadership qualities and teaches how to be an active member and so it's a really beautiful organization and in local 26 we meet the Friday of the union meeting at 5 o'clock so that's your two notes one more thing um, Saturday, there is a canvas for uh, Kamala Harris and Walls launching out of the Lanham Hall. It's also a canvas for uh, also Brooke, who is running in Maryland, and um, we need door knockers. So come on out to the hall, have some breakfast, have some brunch, and then go out there and canvas. Um, very important. You can find the details on the website. And I'll put some details in the description box if you're interested in uh, volunteering for the canvas. The crux of today's video is your collective bargaining agreement. And the reason it comes up is because we, I recently received my new collective bargaining agreement. And I want to show you the old collective bargaining agreement, the inside wireman agreement. This is the old one. This is the pocket agreement. And what is the purpose of making an agreement? that you can hand to the members. Now, we're fortunate here because we do have it on PDF on our website for the members. Um, and so that's good. It's always accessible if you have your phone. You can always look it up and see your contract. But the pocket contract was made because members needed to have their contract language on them while on the job site in the instance that they had to correct maybe a uh, some stuff that's going on on the job site that is not per the contract. Maybe the contractor is not providing water. And so you have your wiring agreement and you look up job conditions and you find out that they're supposed to provide water and you show them it's right there in the book that you guys agreed to. You're supposed to provide water and it corrects the situation. That's the purpose of a pocket contract so that you can have it on you at all times while you're at work and defend yourself because this is the document that governs your work day from your pay to your holidays, show up time, tool list, everything is in here. And so when you have a pocket contract, you can, you're, you're well armed to defend yourself. And um, I got a package the other day from local, from my local, local 26, and I thought it was the calendar, but it's kind of early for a calendar. So I was like, man, the calendar came out kind of early. And when I opened it up, no, it wasn't the calendar. It's my new inside wiring agreement. my new inside wireman agreement now it's beautiful um, it has a beautiful ensemble of jobs and members working on the cover it looks really nice um, it's very easy to read especially for me as I'm a little older I'm blind so it's very easy to read and I think it's gonna be an awesome thing to have on my bookshelf just you know it's kind of like a cool cool little piece I don't quite understand the functionality though I got to be honest I don't understand how I'm supposed to keep this with me at work and be able to defend myself at work 
when it's this big I just this is not a pocket contract and so I keep my things my uh, contract and bylaws I keep them in my little ziplock bag so you see got my constitution in there and got my EWMC bylaws in there and I keep them in a ziplock bag but um if I tried to put this contract into my Ziploc bag, it, it, it won't even close. It, it, it doesn't fit. And so I, I don't see how I can protect this and keep it on me um, for three years and be able to def defend myself on the job. But again, I do appreciate the beauty of it. It is a really nice looking magazine, but I, I, I'm worried about the functionality of it because how does that work keeping it with me on the job site um so i i really don't know um what the thought process was behind that i hope that we're still going to produce a pocket version because i think it's imperative that we do have a pocket version of the contract so that we can keep it on us because in all honesty some job sites they don't allow you to bring your phone on the job and if you can't bring your phone on the job and you can't carry a contract in your pocket then you're on a job site without the tools that you need to defend yourself. And that can be problematic, especially when you have foremen that break the rules and wanna, wanna over, overstep, you know what I mean? And so I don't know, but uh, we do have a union meeting tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be discussed and we'll see what, what, what the thinking was behind it, what the purpose was, and if we're gonna have a pocket contract, if this is where we're gonna stay. Just some clarity, really, that's what I'm hoping for, some clarity. Um, but my name is Eric. You're watching Union Minded. Remember that the fight's not left and right. It's up and down. It's going to take solidarity to, re to win always. Remember, each one teach one. Get out there and reach one. And there could be no union without you and I front and center. Peace.